Hey guys, Stanley King here. Did a little weekend trip up to Northern California. Hit some of my favorite swimming holes. Did a little dirt bike riding. Really went on some beautiful scenic drives. You know, ate the local food, the apple pie, all that kind of stuff. We had so much fun up there. We hit this place, which is I, I think both of these places. These are two of my favorite swimming holes in the area. And then here, hit the dirt bike on the back 40 of our property, which was pretty cool. All right, so I've got this video cut up into multiple pieces. So I did parts one through six. And uh, so this first part, this is our favorite swimming hole off the Clavy River. Really difficult to get to this area. Um, if you try to find it, it's difficult. And if you do, the hike, I've seen people turn around again and again as soon as they see the first downhill to get to the river. It's pretty sketchy. So and that water is probably in the mid to high 40 degrees kind of range. You see these guys, two of those are my sons, and they're ones that buddies. But to get these guys to jump off this, it's about a 15 foot drop into that ice cold water. It took them quite a bit. And that water is churning as well. So I don't recommend that you jump in the parts of the river that are not, you know, I, I would actually recommend you go with somebody who's been here before if you do get out here. Super cool place, one of my favorite places on earth, but definitely a challenge to get to. Yeah, check these guys out. To actually jump in the river, they had to lock arms. It's so funny. You can just see them, they're like, oh man, this is cold, 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 here it comes. That water is basically snow melt. Can you imagine this? 17 years old. So normally when you come here, you've got to jump in that hole right there and you swim through out into the main uh, swimming hole. Pretty cool, the water's usually crystal clear, but this is late May and the water is just cranking. So you couldn't jump in there, I don't think you could get out. Now look at this, this is Catherine. <laughs> it took her so many times to actually decide to jump in. This is what everybody does, you think about it, think about it, think about it, think about it, and then there you go. Northern California just has so much beauty. All right, scenic drive over Sonora Pass. This is a must do drive. So on either side of the road is the immigrant wilderness, which is just gorgeous. Tuolumne County is a backpackers paradise, outdoorsman. Paradise. It's right between Yosemite. Well, part of the county actually is um, Yosemite, but it's south of Lake Tahoe and north of Yosemite. And there's just so much to do and see in this place. And again, a little town that I'm from. It's called Twain Heart. If you ever get a chance, you can rent a house there. It's just gorgeous. All right. This is Natural Bridges. 
This place is so neat. This is actually a cave that goes right through the mountain with the river. So you can swim in through this spring slash cave. Look at all the stalactites. Get to the other side where the entrance of the cave is and then swim back. I mean, I've never seen anything like this on Earth before. I'm sure there's other places, maybe in Croatia or somewhere like that, with this sort of a thing. But just an amazing bit of natural beauty here in Calaveras County. And again, the water is cold. This is all snow melt. It's worth it though. dirt bike riding on the back 40. This is our piece of property we have right in Twain Heart. Pretty lucky I'm able to cut in single track here on the back 40. Every time I go out I bring my chainsaw and my abs. And I just chop my way through the underbrush and cut in new single track. Super fun. I'm so used to riding in the desert, riding through the forest like this. I'm just, I'm not even used to it at all. My hat's off to these guys who ride in Northern California up in the mountains. There's quite a bit of humidity and it's just a different deal altogether, but man, it's a blast. And Twain Heart, I mean, it's just, look at the scenery, it's just gorgeous. There's deer all over the place in the back 40 here. We've got a bear back there as well. This time and every time I'm cutting single track, I always find bear scat. I haven't seen the bear yet, but I'm sure at some point I'm going to run into him on the trail. And I'm hoping he runs away. And if I see him at night, I really hope he runs away because you see those eyes first and then you realize what kind of animal it is. So much fun. Shot this as well on the Insta 360 1R. It's this new 360 action camera that I bought. And I really like the footage that's coming out of it. It's just such a different perspective for everything that I do. Every time I ride these trails, this, this is all former gold mine country here. And uh, like that right there is a gold mining ditch. But my mind just races wondering where I should put the trail and you know where the jump should be. Should I go over the rocks, the trees, whatever. Just have such a cool little track cut in. I only have two and a half miles so far, but I want to labyrinth the thing out to at least five miles and here we go at night this is a little trippy that's for sure see around the next corner luckily I didn't see anything this time so normally I see a bunch of deer all right this is going over Sonora Pass back to Vegas and just down here we drive past the Marine Corps uh, mountaineering base so cool to see the Marines out there training all the time up at the top of the Sierras
one month before this video, this was probably still five or six feet of snow. Guys snowmobile over this thing in the winter. Again, if you've never been to Northern California or Tuolumne County or Calaveras County or Bono County, I strongly recommend you go check it out. It's just absolutely beautiful. All right, here's part six. This is where we wrap it up. A few pictures. We're back in Vegas. All right, hope you enjoyed the video.